Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm so sorry I missed being on yesterday, but I was out of town and my day just totally got away from me. But I am back today and as promised, I wanted to give you a few extra nuggets from the book that we just finished, The Positive Dog. Now that Bubba and Matt are out of the shelter and spreading positivity throughout their neighborhood, their combined neighborhood at that, I want you to go out and do the same. And for those of you watching or who who happen to watch the replay, if you don't mind, comment below with at least one way that you can remember that you can feed the positive dog. Um, in the last few weeks, we talked about 15 or more different ways that you can feed the positive dog, and I'm just hopeful that you might remember a few. And the action plan that we went over yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, um, it gives 11 of them, so there's your little clue. But right now, I thought I would read to you um, something that was in the back of the book. It's called The Positive Pledge. So I'm going to read it right from the book, if you don't mind. The Positive Pledge. I pledge to be a positive person and a positive influence on others. I promise to be positively contagious and share more smiles, laughter, and encouragement and joy with those around me. I vow to stay positive in the face of negativity. When I am surrounded by pessimism, I will choose optimism. When I feel fear, I will choose faith. When I want to hate, I will choose love. When I want to be bitter, I will choose to get better. When I experience a challenge, I will look for an opportunity to learn and grow. When I face adversity, I will find strength. When I experience a setback, I will be resilient. When I meet failure, I will fail forward toward future success. With vision, hope, and faith, I will never give up and will always move forward towards my destiny. I believe my best days are ahead of me, not behind me. I believe I'm here for a reason and my purpose is greater than any of my challenges. I believe that being positive not only makes me better, it makes everyone around me better. So today and every day, I will be positive and strive to make a positive impact on the world. And of course, it says you can print out the pledge and sign and, and sign and date it and post it if you want to. Um, another thing that I wanted to share was in the back of the book, there were a couple of, of resources and I thought you might enjoy those. I've, I've kind of looked around a little bit and some of them are kind of neat. Um, the website is www feedthepositivedog.com and they, at that website you can participate in a free positive dog book club. You can print and share positive dog posters. You can watch positive videos so if you need laughter there you go. <laughs> you know excuses. Um, you can share the positive dog principles with others. You can learn more about the research that's featured in this book and you can learn more about positive training programs, and you can even discover John Gordon's Positive University. So I thought that might be interesting. I hope you've all enjoyed the book. I know I have, and I have enjoyed sharing it with you. John Gordon's books have proved to be the perfect type of book for this venue because they are short, but yet they're packed with powerful messages at the same time. And as a matter of fact, I'm considering... Um, starting another one next week. It's, it's one of his, John Gordon, and it's called The Seed. And it's a book about finding your passion, purpose, and happiness in life and in work. So if that's something that um, sounds interesting to you, comment below and um, let me know. And like I said, I'd like to start that next week. I hope you all have a great evening. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye.